pull, 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 pull. That was the biggest zero to 100. Oh, yeah. No warm up. I'm really worried he's going to be injured. I think this is not a good situation. For long shoots like this, if this would be outside, I do get burned. Okay, Brownie, we need to up your game on the skincare. <laughs> That is so painful, you guys. I hope you feel them. It is excruciating. Hey friends, this is Brian Johnson. Today I'm going to review Brownie's video on how he measured everything about his body. If you don't know who Brownie is, he's a creator with over 10 million subscribers on YouTube with a focus on health and wellness. He's also a friend. And in his own words, he said making the video we're about to watch turned out to be one of the hardest weeks of his life. I'm really happy someone finally understands what I go through every single day. Let's see what he's done to measure his body. I will find out by testing how old my heart is, measure my exact body fat percentage, see how strong I am, how my body responds to heat and heights, and even test on cancer. I think I'm pretty healthy. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I eat healthy, and I exercise every single day. But am I really as healthy as I think? In the first test, I will find out my real height, measured by a laser. The measurement starts now. Your height is 178. What? Is that not your height? No. I think it is. Okay. A lot of people overestimate their height. I think Brownie's doing the same thing. I understand that. This is true where people subjectively report out their biomarkers. We really struggle in saying, I don't know. Let's see. This is Alicia, and she will make a 3D scan of us with some really nice looking faces. Lots of little cameras in here is what's gonna pick that up and, and make that model of you. When it says scan done, you can come out of there. This scan just measured everything on my body, literally everything. And I now know what circumference my arm is or my waist. Okay, <laughs> they did a 3D body scan to promote this brand. That's cool. Like it is useful to know your body measurements. You really want to have a gold standard DEXA scan for this. So I think that would probably be the move I'd make on this. Some people even say the only way to accurately measure your body fed, muscle mass, and bones. Do a DEXA scan. DEXA scan. The gold standard for body composition. Very accurate. Wait a second, first of all, Brownie, why did you not cut me in this, man? Where am I at? DEXA scan is a test that I would recommend for everybody. It's low cost and it's high information. Understanding where your bone mineral density is, is one of the more important parts of your health that people oftentimes have no idea what their baseline is or what even to do about it. Here they will use this chamber to see if I have skin cancer. So we have our body scanner. This will take 2000 photos in both 2D and 3D to map out any moles or markings on the body. We also have integrated thermal cameras to look for any signs of inflammation and compare both sides of the body. Skin health is really important. In fact, it is the first thing I look at when I meet someone. It really is like an accounting of your life. When you eat bad foods, it shows up in your skin. When you don't sleep well, it shows up in your skin. You can't hide it. I learned through using Vizia, which uses multi-spectral imaging, that my skin was actually really damaged. I was in the sun nonstop, baking in the sun. It was like, how tan can you get was the competition during school. So my, my skin has received a lot of sun damage. If you're going to be in the sun, be mindful to either protect yourselves, wear sunscreen, or be out in the sun in the morning, late at night, which is my preference where I still get the sun exposure. The most important thing with the skin is protecting it from the ultraviolet rays in the sun. I'm curious about whether you use sun cream. I do as often as possible, though, for long shoots like this, if this would be outside, I do get burned. Okay, Brownie, we need to up your game on the skincare. You're outside doing shoots, you're getting burned. That's not good. I get it. YouTuber, shirt's off, he's muscular. That's like part of the game. Also, don't pay the price. Not worth getting cancer. So you guys, if you're in the same situation, don't get burned. It's not worth it. So our skin scanner takes 2,000 high resolution photos of your body. And I'm gonna show you that process in action. We're gonna have a little look at your back. Wow. So this is you. Each of these blue squares represents one of the moles that we found on your back. So we've counted the number of moles and freckles you have, and you have 557. That's a really good data point. I wish I had that data. I don't have that data, but really cool. So technology is amazing. The fact that we can get quantified data on these kinds of situations, really cool. What we will do next is your blood test. Uh, so good job on the blood draw. I am a phlebotomist uh, nerd. So when I get my blood drawn, I'm really mindful of who the person is. You want to set the expectations initially. One stick, they go, if they hit it, great. If they miss it, out. It's very unpleasant to get your, your veins stuck. A lot of people feel a lot of anxiety. So by doing this, you can potentially reduce your anxiety by setting expectations that it's going to be minimally painful because you prevent that fishing expedition if they miss. Good vein. Yes. 
Brownie also has great veins. It's an easy stick. I could do that one. That's your heart. Have you heard wow. it before? I, I probably have at some point, but not like this. It's, <laughs> it's all around me. The thing I like about what they're doing is internalizing what is happening inside their body. Most people have never heard their heartbeat. So I like that they're educating people and giving them an emotional bridge to help, which otherwise it's just very cold in traditional medical practice. So cool job on the design. Great, let's have a look. There you are. No. <laughs> uh, this is cool because you're informing people that there's such a thing as biological age. A person can be 25 and have a heart of a 20 year old or a 30 year old. I'm assuming here they're doing some simplified version of heart age, which is fine. Again, it builds intuition, but you really can go very deep in getting the biological age of any organ, including dozens of measurements. Have you done a sweat test before? Never. It's really interesting. We're gonna put some pads on you, but they attach quite tightly, and it's gonna induce sweat on your forearm. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn that on. Current is passing through the wires. I won't feel anything. It might sting a tiny bit. I am actually super interested to see if I lose a lot of salt or not. Okay, so cool that they're actually doing sweat measurement. I just did this myself. I did this because I began the sauna protocol at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, 93 Celsius. And I was trying to figure out how to improve my electrolyte balance because I, like Brownie, was having pretty severe cramps during the night. And that is because I wasn't getting a proper rehydration with a proper balance of electrolytes. Also, I think there's something going on between Brownie and the nurse here. Let's see how it goes. When I take them off, you'll have a little ring of sweat on your forearm. And then this has got a tiny tube, which is gonna collect your sweat in that tube. So all that blue is your sweat in there. What? Oh, there's a tube in there, of mm -hmm. course. Now this just goes in our analyzer and I'm just gonna push it through and then your number will come up and that'll be how much sodium comes out your sweat. On this way to measure your own test, I wouldn't do that. It's a lot of work. I would just get a Gatorade patch, put it on, exercise or go in the sauna, it gets you better and more accurate results. So I think a simpler way to do it. Sleep, and particularly whether your sleep gets disrupted if you're crossing time zones or things like that. I do always hear also from friends like Will Tennyson that I need to sleep more often. Thank you, Will. Come on, bro. Who's your number one source for sleep data? It's not Will Tennyson, it's me. I'm the best sleeper in the entire world. We talked about this. Where's the love, man? High pressure is something I have never tested before and also never thought I would test. Look straight ahead, eyes nice and wide open. I'll place my hand on your shoulder just for some stability and then you'll feel a light pop into the eye. Yeah, eye pressure is really good. I did a bunch of eye measurements, very extensive, primarily because of my internal jugular vein stenosis where I have this uh, genetically narrow veins that carry blood to and from my brain. So we were assessing my eyes for potential damage of this condition. So we did maybe a dozen different measurements, but just knowing your baseline pressure, good idea. Very different than any grip strength I've ever done before. This is how you're gonna be measuring grip strength, just by a side, squeeze as hard as you can. We're gonna measure on the iPad to see how much you can do. Good, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Relax. That's a pretty cool device. I have one here at the house, does not make any noises. This is a fun game. I know I bring people over here, we do these don't die dinners. And when people get that in hand and it's just like all out warfare of who can get the best. So people get really competitive on this game, it's fun. Your left actually was a little bit more um, than your right for your grip squeeze. I am right handed. I mean, it's not like a huge difference. It's only 2.4% difference. That's really good that he has that symmetry between right and left hands. To be fair, that is like really good. One of the highest I've seen, to be fair. Oh. Okay, that's good. She definitely has a crush on him. Second strength exercise is a mid-thigh pull or just a very painful deadlift. It's essentially a deadlift that doesn't move. So we're measuring the amount of strength that your lower half can produce. Good, pull, 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 That was the biggest zero to 100. Ah, no warm up. You guys, you wanna be really careful on this. Brownie did this without warming up. You really can injure yourself in doing this. So never go from cold to max effort, it just creates way too much injury risk. If you're gonna injure yourself playing a sport, I get it, but don't do something stupid like going from cold to all out exertion. It's just not worth it. Pull, 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 pull. Relax. His <laughs> face is like. <laughs> I'm really worried he's gonna be injured. I think this is not a good situation. And like, these people should definitely not ask them to do full exertion from cold. Like that's just not a good situation. So if someone who's older who came through and, and they're doing that, they're definitely going to be injured. Your maximum was 2955. You've got only a 2% asymmetry, which is really good. Your isometric mid-thigh pull was 2971, which is really, really good. Wow. 
this is just built for gamification, right? Like that is so fun. How strong are you? What is your grip strength? The grip strength I should mention is actually one of the best longevity markers predicting all cause mortality. A really good marker for someone to be aware of as you're evaluating where you're at in your particular age and your risk of all cause mortality. The scans are done and all the information of our bodies is right here. And because a DEXA scan scans everything, you can even see the muscle imbalances you have between all three legs, for example. Yeah, this is why DEXA is so good. It gives you your symmetry, asymmetry on your muscles around your body, which can really inform because if you've got uh, asymmetries, it can create problems in your gait, posture. So this is why DEXA really is worth it. Low cost, high information value. Um, yours is about a kilogram difference. What? Whoa. You as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? Might be my ankle injury on my left. This is injury, right? So he just said that he got injured and that created the asymmetry. This is why it is not worth getting injured on stupid stuff. Now we're all going to be injured in life. It happens but just don't do it on something that is really preventable. What I want to look at is the direct impact that altitude has on you as an athlete. I will do two 12 minute run tests. The first one's going to be at sea level and the second one's going to be at 2,700 meters in our chamber. So we can compare how my body reacts to a high altitude. That's cool. Uh, this is uh, different training in different altitudes. Very cool, uh, great technology. I'm actually getting uh, ready to begin the protocol myself. So I've been very curious. We've reviewed the evidence. It's really interesting for potential benefits uh, and doing the performance test in here, that's cool. When my lactate levels are too high, my body starts to struggle. Just under that stage is the best way to train. It's the sweet spot hard enough to improve, but not too hard to burn out. Here for you, your LT1 or your aerobic limit is around 150 heart rate. Your LT2, so your anaerobic limit is up and around 170. This data is incredibly valuable. Like knowing where your thresholds are, what your abilities are, baselining yourself. This is a really cool test. You know, it's a hard one to get. It's sophisticated. It could cost a lot of money, but if you can get it, it really does help on your performance. That's nine. The hardest so far. We'll hopefully prove this or it will prove us wrong. We'll get the VO2 master on you and we'll do a ramp test till failure. So no Mr. Nice Guy anymore. None of this easy hard. It's VO2 max is one of the hardest tests professional athletes have to train for. Cristiano Ronaldo, for example, is at the top of the scale. An average professional athlete, a little bit lower. And the general population scores around 30 to 40. VO2 max is brutal. It is so uncomfortable because you're taking yourself to absolute collapse. So, and Brownie's already had a big day. He's already done the lactate. Uh, he's also done the IHT stuff. So this is a lot. He's pretty tired and you want to have fresh, energetic state as your starting point, but uh, cool that he's doing it. The way to think of VO2 max is, is the size of the engine. That tells us just how fit you are and kind of how much oxygen your muscles can use. Yeah, actually this device, I'm not sure what the device is they're using, but uh, we use a clinical grade system, which is like, like a big box and these pipes. So I'm curious what they're using and the accuracy of the system. It's just 10 seconds, then we're building. Looking so good, we've got it in you, let's go. Really nice, Arian. She's a pretty good motivator, right? Like if you're doing your test, you want her by your side. 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds to go. 20, you got this jumping off, jumping off, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. You've got this, fight for it. Nice work, really nice work, really nice. <laughs> that is so painful, you guys. I hope you feel them. It is excruciating. Your heart rate goes unbelievably high. You hit 200 there. That's amazing. So for your heart rate, what you should do is take uh, 220 minus your age. So they're 25 years old. Their max heart rate should be around 195. As you age every year, it goes down a bit. So that's a great heart rate. And that is like incredible to have 190 beats per minute as like raw horsepower. Uh, so that's cool. You, how are we feeling? Oh, that was the worst thing I've ever done. That's somewhere around kind of 54 or 55, which isn't too bad at all. So Brownie got a 55 VO2 max, which is the same as mine. VO2 max is one of the strongest predictors of longevity. You can do high intensity interval training and ZO2 training and meaningfully improve your VO2 max. But if you don't know your VO2 max, I would suggest you do get it. It's a really good baseline marker of where you're at, but it really has this gigantic predictive ability in your all-cause mortality. My lifestyle is working. I am super happy with these results and my health. So overall, I would say that is a really good video because it is such a uh, nice entry point for people to understand you can measure things about your body that inform your decisions on health and wellness. So overall, I would give Brownie a 10 out of 10. Brownie, great job in the video. You're doing everyone a really big service on helping them understand how to measure health, what to do for their, their health profile. I think your scores are great, looking great. So hope we can hang out soon. 
Also, Brownie, you were at my house in February. We filmed the video. Where's it at, man? And also, you didn't include me in your video. Bro, what's up? You got a beef with me?